Second time trying Daryl Wallace Jr. Hello? Daryl, is this Daryl Wallace Jr.? Yes, what's up? Hi, this is uh, Garth with WGCE. Um, we, we, we've got an interview lined up with you on the case with uh, Wayne Garth and Cassandra. Are you uh, uh, cool to go live? I don't have anything planned today, but I'm at a golf tournament right now. You're at a golf tournament? Well, this, this won't take too long. We'll, we'll, we'll take maybe five minutes. Uh, I can't. I promise you I can't right now. Maybe another day. Well, it, we, it, it really won't take too much, time, too much of your time. We just want to talk quickly about that win. Two minutes. Okay, let's go. Okay, all right. All right, in three, two, and we're live now with Daryl Wallace Jr., winner of the NASCAR Camping World Truck Series race from Michigan International Speedway. Daryl, thank you for joining us on the case with Wayne Garth and Cassandra. Yeah, thank you. What's going on? Not much. Just uh, you know, can you just give us a real quick uh, rundown of how exciting that win was in Michigan in the Irish Hills, holding off the field to get your your first win in the Truck Series since 2014. Yeah, it was big. Uh, it was good to be back in the Truck Series. Um, had a lot of fun in Michigan. Everybody at MDM Motorsports brought a great truck, and um, had to go through some uh, strategy there to, to put us in a spot at the end, which is uh, which what which is what counts. And we were there in the right spot at the right time to capitalize on on back-to-back win, so I uh, can't thank everybody enough from MDM and uh, Maestro's uh, new era. Uh, ECR engines was really strong, so uh, it was a great win for not only myself, but the whole sport to, uh, to see me get back in the system and, and come back out on top. Yeah, hey Bubba, this is Wayne, and uh, we hear a lot around the garage area that you are really close relatives with Rusty Wallace. What kind of role has he played in your life and your career in NASCAR? Yeah, he's, uh, he's actually no relative of mine. We actually uh, are just um, happen to be good friends and have the same last name. Oh, oh, we, we sorry, we were misinformed. Um, I heard you say though your your sponsor Maestros. Um, you know, obviously we're at a radio station, and so we like to promote all sorts of music. Uh, what exactly do they do in the music industry? Uh, it's not music industry; it's beard care. So, beard care is that like rubbish? <laughs> oh, you. F- <laughs> oh, <laughs> you fing oh, ass. Yeah. Oh, so close. I heard it. I heard it in your in your voice that, that last part, Ryan. I heard it. I'm like, that's Ryan before you started laughing. Oh, oh yes. <laughs> yes. Thank you for answering, man. That was awesome. We God. love you. Oh yeah, man, that was leave me alone. so funny. <laughs> you, you have no idea how pissed I was. Oh, we know. We could hear it in your voice. It was great. Yeah. <laughs> Especially the relative one. Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. We were going to keep going down the list and say, so your cousin, Mike Wallace. <laughs> and Kenny, Kenny. Yeah, Kenny. So. God. Oh. All right, whatever. Yes. Leave me alone. Don't call me again. We got, we got what we wanted. Thanks for joining us on the class case of emotion. All right. <laughs> we'll see you. Yeah. Congrats, man. <laughs> oh, yes. Yes.